So check this out guys, before this video gets started, I do wanna mention that we just dropped some brand new hats on the website. Check these suckers out, the all black with a brand new logo on the top there. And get this, on top of all that, if you buy one of these hats, you might get randomly selected to get one of our dang sauces in your package. And if you get a dang sauce in there, you're also gonna get a signature, a signed hat from me and you on your hat as well. So we're doing something pretty special this time. It's not what we normally do, but you know what? This is not all the sauces right here. We got a bunch more. So you actually got some pretty high chances and there's not too many hats as well. But if you guys wanna cop you a hat right here and help support your boys and get a chance to win something like this, be sure to visit goonsquad.com. But as right now, let's get to the video. Dude. Ollie, what do you think about this new truck right here? Do you like that new truck? What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today we are here at the original Goon Squad garage and today we're going to continue working on our brand new build, the Factory 5 GTM Supercar. As you guys seen in the previous video, we started working on this fiberglass tub trying to save it and we are making some amazing progress. As you guys can tell, we have some nasty damage over here and on that side over there. But you know what? The only issue that we're having right now is trying to figure out this resin right here because the old stuff that we used cured better with heat and this stuff right here cures better when it's cool. So we're just trying to just work with what we can right now because this morning we came in still tacky. So we'll probably give it some more time and then I think we'll finish up this tub and are we going to save that hood or not, dude? Dude, I mean, I say we're going to save that hood. We're probably going to attempt it. Once we have some time, we're going to jump on that hood and probably get some new fiberglass stuff yep. and see if we can get that exactly. hood saved. Yeah, we'll definitely shop around and try to find some higher quality resin. That way we could fix that. And also you guys seen in the previous video, we built that truck a little bit right there and you guys are about 50-50. Half of you guys like it half you guys don't like it but you know what we're happy at least we can please 50% of you yeah, guys. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, that truck, I mean, in person, it looks um, amazing. Dude. And it does look amazing right now. So it just depends, honestly. Yeah, you gotta see this truck in person. But we you normally go with like the Meteor tires right there, but that's more like race mode right there. Yeah, dude. dude. Super we're, sweet, dude. Yeah, we might do some more things We might to it. want to tune it a little bit, like we it's, mentioned. So exactly. that's why we're going that route. That's right. But right now, what we're gonna do is probably apply some more heat and give this a little bit more time before we continue. And we're gonna finish up that R8 100%. As you guys know, we didn't throw the new wheels on it like we wanted wanted to and Rogue Wheel Distribution finally delivered the wheels which they actually came in super fast and that's just gonna make that car look super sweet. So I say we go ahead, load everything up into our brand new truck, take the old wheels and tires as well because we're gonna reuse those, take it to the tire shop, get them mounted and hopefully slap them on the car. Goodness, the tires got a lot thicker right there. I think the wheels are the same. No, the wheels got smaller, yeah. tires got thicker, yes, dude. Yes, sir, and that's what you want right here. And we were able to reuse our Toyo Proxies Triple Eight R's right here. These are the sneaky ones. Luckily, all of them were good. And dude, these suckers hopefully got the grip, dude. I think they will, dude. These are actually super hard to get the Triple Eight R or the R Triple Eight. I don't think you can even get them at all right now, dude. They're like, I think like all the twin turbo like Huracans and R8s use these tires, so 
they're like super rare because everybody twin turbos those cars. If so you it's can find crazy. them, they're probably left behind on the roads. Yeah, <laughs> from the, from from the rubber the, marks. From the rubber marks. Yeah. So luckily, we're able to reuse these. We're definitely. Um, we definitely got a couple thousand miles on these because oh, yeah. they're still practically brand new right yeah, here. You just got to be careful with these, I think, in the rain because I yeah. don't know if they have the best traction in I the rain. I don't think we'll ever drive this thing in the rain. So I think sunny, this weather right here, it's like almost 80 degrees, dude. It is perfect dude. weather to stick these tires But to the what ground, about dude. those wheels, though, dude, right those there, wheels man? Are absolutely crazy. So we're trying to pick out the perfect color. That way it goes with the whole entire flow. You know, when we first got the car, it had those like gold, bronze, gold looking. It was like brushed bronze. Yeah, type of wheels. So we went with the closest color on these new wheels right here and they look absolutely stunning they look like they're perfect for this car yeah, dude. definitely the black looked pretty good but this right here definitely like gives it a little bit more yeah. contrast and it yeah. catches your eye and the front looks super sweet so these are staggered of course right yeah, or they're not staggered the, no what does staggered mean i think staggered means if you got like 20s in the back and 19s in the front these yeah. are 19s all the way around oh, yeah they're 19s all the way around so they're not staggered but the rear ones are way wider so i don't know how you'd call that <laughs> but anyways they look perfect they actually fit perfect because you know this is the exact tire this car previously ran so the suspension's like nicely flush everything's like almost tucked in a little bit so i mean it's ready to rip it's honestly, ready to rip dude. but let's jump Onto that side over there, I think the coilovers may need to get adjusted because this car was in an accident as soon as the build got done, basically. So I don't know if they adjusted everything 100%. Yeah, right? I mean, this is a little bit more flush over here. Honestly, if we probably like drop the coilover probably a quarter of an inch, it'll probably be perfect dude. on both sides. Just a little bit off, nothing too big, but dude, it looks this crazy. side looks, looks so sick, it just man. It looks so meaty, dude. It actually looks like a twin turbo car now, dude. Yeah, that is right. And also, we are missing the center caps, can't forget yeah. because we kind of were supposed to wait to install these but we couldn't wait and the center caps didn't arrive yeah, in time this is all custom painted right here so they painted those last but no big deal dude they don't even matter about center caps that just looks incredible dude, dude. definitely got to get the rest of it wrapped i think we found a shop that could actually get that done for us yeah you know what so I mean? we're still waiting though the paint is still in its drying stages right here we want to make sure it's 100 percent. that way we don't run into any more issues and that little white piece right there we're waiting on our duct so once that duct comes in we'll go ahead and just spray that in and stuff yeah. like this that. is Super just a little simple. side build we'll include yeah, into some I mean, of the videos that ain't nothing to do with the driving ability of this car but dude i say we go ahead and do some driving dude, ability right let's now let's do dude. it let's fire it up and hit the road let's do it oh man they're so sticky dude they're throwing up rocks right now I think so just a hair but it caught once again i think because they're fresh you know we haven't drove right. it so i had to get all the rocks and stuff out but dude that is a, dude that goes now dude it drives so much better now too so much smoother that gave me so many butterflies oh, dude man, about dude. a million of them man i'm telling you dude drives so much better for sure dude that's that's way more grippier dude that is wild right there man you guys are probably hearing all sorts of weird screams or whatnot i might have to edit that out <laughs> <laughs> But this is what this car does, man. It just, it's such a thrill, dude. Yeah, it's a, dude, it's like an adrenaline rush when you hey, drive this thing. But now let's see why people go up to 2,000 horsepower, because I'm starting to get used to this. Oh, me too, dude. I'm starting to get used to it as well, man. It's almost feeling like this is what this car needed, you know Yeah, I mean? the blood doesn't really, like, stop, like, stops just, your thinking anymore, you know what wait. I mean? I wasn't on there 100%. I know, dude. I'm <laughs> kidding. This is probably plenty of power. 1,200 horsepower, dude. dude. Plenty. We're going to do a couple more pulls, and we'll get back to work on yeah, that. Get back to work trying to get that beast going. Let's find a good stopping point. Not in the grass, keep going. Yeah, I'm gonna pull in the grass a little bit. Oh man, you better, hopefully we know this guy. That's fine. Careful, careful, careful. Man. What are you doing? You just got it done, my bad. Are you going like 90 up that hill? Yeah. Yeah, that's reckless driving. I understand. Give me driver's license. So how fast were you going? Um, I didn't really look down. I was looking straight. 
Alright, we're just Alright. Dude. <laughs> I see you shaking, bro. I'm shaking too. But what did he just tell you? Should we say? <laughs> Should we say what he I'm, said? He said go back to Tennessee and do that. Don't do that over here. Yeah, we can't do that here in Georgia. And that's right. I mean, yeah, we definitely got to find is, better testing grounds. This is not a good area. Not so. a good area. And um, we are going to find a better place to do race. To do race. <laughs> All right, so we made it to Tennessee. Going to do another pull right quick. Second gear, ready? Yep. a little in second gear. I can actually feel that because it's just so much power right away, you know what I mean? And we're not even running E85 because I yeah. put some 93 octane in this thing the other day. Man, this thing just eats gas right away. And um, E85 is kind of far away from us, but you know what? Still fun, dude. Still fun, dude. Still fun with 93, but definitely need some more E85. But dude, these tires are amazing. I think after we warmed them up a little bit, now yeah. they actually stick. I don't know if that last one slipped or did it a little bit. It's a tiny bit. It might, it might have just one wheel, because you know, it, it does, it kind of like uses all of the all drive like crazy. So yeah, it's, I think it's called torque split, where it splits to different yeah, parts. Yeah. Or so like that. It, it's in performance manual. So I mean, I'm switching the gears, and I gotta switch them quick because it just spools up so quick the RPM. So I'm switching at 9,000 RPMs. That's red what? red line. So oh my goodness, dude, it's it's incredible. I mean, now the car actually drives way straighter. It's not as scary now. It does not like slipping trying to figure out what's going on. You know what I mean? So the car is basically perfect now, dude. Yeah, with those other Lamborghini, the original Lamborghini wheels and tires, dude, it was just so out of whack. The yeah. tires, first off, were just dry rotted like crazy. <laughs> was that you? Just downshifting. Downshifting. Down -shifting. And on top of that, the wheels, I think, were out of balance, and it just, like, shook the whole entire car, and dude. And that car was in an accident, so those wheels are probably bent. I'll probably bend a little, a little bit. bit. Yeah, for sure. But that's going to be pretty much it for the Audi R8. Just Man. insane car. Such a fun car, We're going to go back home and uh, get to work. Alrighty guys, so it's actually the next day here. Yesterday after we got done ripping the R8, we came back over here and we tested out this fiberglass. It was still kind of tacky. Then we went ahead and actually just ran to the store to pick up our new stuff. Got the new stuff right there. I think it's gonna work a lot better because it says the dry time is what, like 24 hours or something like that? I think only two hours. Two it's hours? completely dry, dude. dude. That's awesome. So it is actually the next day because right after we got back from the store, we ran to the new Goon Squad garage and we passed the plumbing inspection. So we were able to cover up all the trenches, which is exciting news because now we could actually get the sheetrock guys out there that could finish up the office and i think we could actually now we can actually finish up the whole shop that's honestly, right dude. dude so this is some super exciting stuff and we got to actually go out there and do some work i think we got to do the insulation that way they could finish up the sheetrock so that might be in the next video but this morning we came over here and this stuff right here is feeling a lot better but if you really like put your fingernail in it it's still a little bit gummy so we're going to probably give that one more day and in the meantime i think we're going to start working on this hood right here we're probably gonna have to use like some pieces of wood and try to like screw it together that 
that way it just like just holds and then we'll probably start working on it there's tons of ways you could do this but i think we can save that dude yeah what do you for think, sure dude? i mean we're just gonna clamp it down i think we have some c clamps everywhere as long as we can clamp it down it's like kind of original position we can get it knocked yeah, out definitely what do you think ollie do you think we can save this hood buddy he's checking out the gtm right there <laughs> he's a man. gtm guy i'm telling yeah, you that's what i'm saying dude. Ollie, what do you think about this new truck right here do you like that new truck <laughs> <laughs> Do you like how, how it has uh, small wheels on it? Hey, see how big those wheels are compared to him. I mean, it's it, about 24 inches. Look at that, dude. Dang. Perfect. It's as big. <laughs> Here you go, Ollie. Um, this is your truck now. Test drive it. He don't like these type of trucks. I'm, I think he's a Jeep he's guy, a, dude. He's a car guy, I think, He's a honestly. muscle car. Look at, look at the muscle, dude. Muscle car guy right there. <laughs> Here you go, Pops. We got. We're not babysitting. I think. I think we're supposed to babysit him, but we'll just give him to pops that way. We could actually get some work done. That's what I'm talking about right dude, there. We're dude. slowly saving this piece. I mean, we got all like the major cracks basically bonded together, not a hundred percent because we had to like clamp it down to hold it in place in some areas. But dude, this thing is basically in one piece, dude. Definitely. And the stuff that we picked up right here is a little bit different. So the other stuff we were using was like weaved. Yeah. This right here is just like scattered in a bunch of different like directions, and yeah. it works amazing. Dude, it works amazing, and the actual resin, resin. itself dries really quick i mean this hasn't even been an hour and it's already super dry like solid so that is just super good news right there and i mean look at that we got this major thing repaired and this one over here which this one turned out just absolutely perfect all the way even at the bottom right here that's basically complete right there we don't even have to mess with it we'll just sand it down and do the uh, the top layer of bondo and stuff like that but other than that dude that is pretty crazy i mean we do still have tons more to go on this hood i mean this big old area right here has to get repaired and there's all those little hairline cracks that go down to the fiberglass all throughout this hood in certain areas here and there. We may even have to flip this hood upside down once we repair the top side and do the bottom side. Yeah, dude. definitely got to do the bottom side as well because we want it to make sure it's strong. And I think there's actually like some hood latches, little pieces of fiberglass that are underneath. Where's that one? Yeah, piece there's at? this piece right here where um, the hood latch actually connects to in the strut and it goes right up under here. So we're going to have to panel bond it and then fix these little cracks right there. But that should be pretty simple. That right is there. right, dude. But before you know it, we're going to have this whole entire hood complete. Going to have this side, that side finished up. And we're going to sand this whole entire car down, dude. And start spraying this thing, Probably going to keep this color, man. I know we've been debating here and there. But I think it would be the smartest way yeah. to save... I guess a lot of save a lot time. of time and on top of that this color you know this kind of grew on me and a lot of people actually want to keep this color we've uh, had people that have seen this car in person you know v tuned even came out here he's like dude this color is amazing leave it dude you know yeah, what i mean there was there's actually a picture of this car completed and actually dude. we found the video of it right after it wrecked yeah well. right off the dude it was like on the side of the road it was actually a tiktok man tiktok man this is some crazy stuff dude, you can see on tiktok you can find dude. anybody through tiktok dude, dude that's what i'm saying so we found this car it was 
pretty crazy how it was just like sitting there on the side of the road. The hood was like off to the side and stuff like that. But you know what? We're, it's making a comeback. Dude. That is right. But guys, that's pretty much going to be all for today's video. We're super happy with the amount of progress that we're making on the GTM supercar right here. But definitely make sure your post notifications are on so you don't miss out on anything. And also, if you want an inside scoop before YouTube, definitely give us a follow on Instagram at Goon Squad. But with all that being said, thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Be sure to drop your comments and thoughts down below. We'll catch you guys next time. Peace.